Hey there, Leo here, and if you're watching these videos, you are curious to know these four factors I'm going to cover that, uh, that will drive up the cost of your Facebook ads and that they will kill your business if you do not fix them on time. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I get started, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Leo Ryan. I reside here in the Solano County area. So I'm trying to uh, work with the Solano County uh, local businesses here. I have a company called Digital Track where I uh, where I help uh, small local businesses here in the Solano County area that are um, advertising on um, print media, right, or or. Uh, newspapers, billboard, signs, TV, radio, but you'll be also looking to advertise on other channels like online, for example, right? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, because many reasons. Perhaps you've seen all of your clients that are being going on the phone. Perhaps you're seeing your competitors, how they're be taking advantage of being online and, 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 and they're having great success by uh, people easily finding them online. Or also, perhaps you're already doing advertising, but you have other areas that come up that you need to focus on your business because other things came up and uh, you just want to hand that off to somebody else to take over your uh, marketing online, right? Either be sending advertising, stuff like that. So if that's you, if any of those are you, um, contact me. My name is Leo again with Digital Track. My number is and sell it's 707-410-0307 so you can definitely call me or text me um you can also visit my website info at digitaltrack.co so why is it important to recognize these factors because a lot of times we don't we are doing it without even knowing it right and it, and there's so many reasons why you want to recognize these factors. And obviously, you don't want to be paying for more than you need to. Uh, you don't want your accounts to get banned for uh, no reason. Uh, I don't know how many of you have issues with ads getting declined. Um, and this is not a live video, but if, if uh, this were a live video, uh, I'm sure probably happened to you in the past. I know it happened to me many times in the past. That's where I learned from, right? Um, and so at some point, your account can get banned and, and you'll be forbidden forever advertising on Facebook. So pre prevent stuff like that. Uh, obviously, you just don't want to be getting your clients mad if you just don't know what you're doing. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's drive in with this. So factor number one is the audience that you are targeting. Um, think about it, right? Who else is targeting the audience, your audience that you are going after, uh, all those cost potential customers? It's important to note that a common misconception uh, that marketing advertisers and small business have is that everybody, all of us, would think that the only competition that we have is within our industry, right? Likely, we typically are in sales, for example, right? And so we think that uh, only we are going to compete against our industry, but in reality, uh, for example, let's say, let's say I sold, I, I, I sell yoga equipment. I might think um, I only have to worry about other brands that may sell yoga, yoga or fitness products. Um, but reality, this is not true. Okay. You are, or we are in direct competition with uh, every other marketer out there, every other advertiser, every other small local company, every other big company that have even more money than uh, small local businesses who want, who wants access to that particular customer. Uh, the particular customer that I, as the yoga mat salesperson that we cover on the, exam, on the, uh, on the example that we're talking about, I'm targeting is not going to have yoga as their only interest. Just put yourself in their shoes of your clients. How many more interests or things you have in your mind that you need uh, that you may even classify them as needing critical or not so critical, right? Or it's just as desire because it makes you feel good. So just put yourself in your client's mind. Now, this customer also loves may love fishing, scuba diving, skiing, fine dining, and has recently opened a small business, for example. So you see all those interests right there combined. Obviously, it's a bottle, internal bottle that we go through and, and combined with all the bombarding from, advertise, from advertisement, it's just basically um, hard to capture or 
perfect client or or ideal client uh, attention just from this pot, right? Uh, they also may be a dog o- dog owner and have a pen chat for signing up to a subscription boxes for the dogs. So these are each trade that multiple brands will be targeting uniquely, and we're all pitted against each other to place an ad on this one very valuable, very diverse customer. So creating a high quality ad, you'll be able to stand out amongst amongst your competition, right? Uh, for example, the great Seth Godin, uh, great marketing. He talks about you on the road, you only seeing cows. Let's say you're going through a a a a row full of fields, right? And you only see cows, black and white cows, right? Eventually, you just don't pay attention to them. It, it's uh, um, it, it's like your your eyes adapted to just you know the the cows eventually. But let's say a purple cow show up, right? Then all of a sudden you, it grabs again your attention because it's totally different color from uh, the cows that you were used to seeing that your mind, your eyes were used to seeing. So that the same this what this uh, last part is saying that you you be you want to be able to stand out amongst your comp- competitors so the other uh, factor that we want to keep eye on is the quality of your ad uh, and actually that was the last thing that I mentioned the last part of right the last uh, sentence that we were covering there are two metrics you want to take a look uh, when evaluating the quality of your ad which are the relevance score and the click-through rate. Uh, the relevant, the relevancy of your ad to your audience is basically uh, the higher your relevance score is, the less you'll pay on ads. Okay. So, for example, let's say you run into ads um, with, let's say you run into ads, right? They're very similar, except that one, let's say it's an ad related to. Um, Getting people to subscribe to your uh, to your coupons, right? And 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 say specifically coupons, free meals for people, and fair feel specifically, right? And it says the same thing. Let's say you have another same ad, same thing, free coupon for a week for people that leave a uh, free meal for a week for people that live in Fairfield, right? They both say the same thing. One you're running on, on Fairfield area, and let's say the other one you're running off on San Francisco or Sacramento. Which ones you think are gonna have the higher uh, acceptance. Which ones you think people are gonna go and 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 actually take up on your offer, download the coupon or whatever it is. I hope you answer Fairfield because come on, people in Sacramento, people in San Francisco uh, will not be take uh, a lot of them will not be taking advantage of your coupon because they know they're far, right? They're very far. They gotta deal with traffic. They wanna they drive perhaps gotta drive two hours with traffic, three even three hours. Um, so that's just not ideal when they have so many other choices locally, right? Um, your restaurant got to be amazing or your store got to be amazing in order for them to drive two, three hours in traffic. Um, so relevant score and then the click-through rate is basically how many people are clicking on your ad, right? How many people are seeing your ad divided by the number of people that are clicking on it? So that's uh, another way to calculate. And again, the more people... That click on your ad compared to the people that see it, um, that's how that number is going to be calculated. Obviously, the higher it is, the the better uh, your results. Now, any of these two numbers, don't try to go perfect on any of these two numbers, right? It, meaning having a ten on how relevant is your ad, or or having a a great click click to rate because at the end of the day that doesn't, doesn't mean sales specifically right obviously your end goal should be sales serving your customer so don't get too stuck on having to get the perfect uh, relevant score or having to get the perfect uh, click through rate so the other factor we want to talk about is the time of the year and I cover a little bit about this in other video so there are peak times in the year when advertisers are flocking to Facebook ads uh, even more than normal right this is this is usual you got Super Bowl you got the holidays so during these peak times there will be more compet- uh, competition for ads and you'll pay more as a result now think about how much ads are doing uh, how much ads are costing during the Super Bowl, 
Now imagine ever every uh, marketing, every big company trying to use Facebook ads for Black Friday and holiday sales, because that's pretty much that's pretty much what happens, right? Big brands spend a lot raising the cost of Facebook ads for everyone. Now we gotta thank Walmart for that, right? We gotta blame somebody. Uh, Black Friday and winter holiday sales times will be amongst the busiest time of the year. But there are other busy seasons and holidays to watch out for. Uh, Labor Day, for example, it often comes with a lot of sales and marketers or in companies wanting to advertise them for uh, as an example. Uh, busy times of the year can still be worthwhile even with the extra cost, but you should definitely keep in mind that it will almost certainly cost you more. So you gotta, you know, you gotta. Uh, get your budget ready. You gotta re- get your number ready. It's your KPI, your key performance indicator, meaning um, am I getting more in return for what am I paying for ads? Right. You gotta look at it as, an, as from an, an investor perspective, and be patient as well. But you gotta take in consideration uh, a percentage of risk. Right. Obviously, you gotta know how much risk risk you can handle. So the other factor is the importance of CPA, cost per acquisition, and ROI, return on your investment. While looking at ad cost and ad spend is important, what is even more important is the CPA, right? We already covered that, the cost per acquisition, and the return on investment you are getting. Uh, This is how you can determine whether you're paying uh, whether what you're paying and what your ad is costing you is worth it. Does your ROI have a higher value than your CPA, right? Are you Meaning, are you putting more money than what, you, what you're getting out? Obviously, that's not the ideal business. Why would you be putting more money, constantly be putting money out of your pocket in your business and, 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 and in return, you're getting less money back? How long you your business you think your business is gonna last that with using that model that strategy and so the same way, the same mentality you gotta approach it to advertising can you handle the advertising and um, and are you able to get some money back right now let's look at another example let's say you're paying one dollar per uh, uh, a burger in your location now let's say the customer will pay. A uh, dollar ninety nine all the time because they want a drink, right? With that, with the with the drink as well. Um, you also be able to determine that one out of three uh, that came to uh, the users that came to your store make an additional purchase for fries. Let's say, for example, fries and and pies for three dollars, right? Extra three dollars. Um, that was again that was three uh, users. So let's say you get a hundred burgers one day uh, you spend a hundred dollars on advertising right to bring a hundred people um, and let's say you make a hundred and ninety nine from uh, those people that came in right a hundred for the burgers that that they would buy plus the fries for those of the uh, for, for those that actually were uh, wanted to get the fries uh, I'm sorry uh, Let's start all over. So let's say you're paying one dollar on advertising to bring a customer. Okay, for every customer that show up to your store, it's gonna cost you a dollar. And then let's say the customers, whenever they come in, they pay one ninety nine on a burger, right? That's the the minimum, the the cheapest burgers you got is one ninety nine. Now let's say that one hundred three of those are gonna be coming and buying fries from you, right? So that's an and fries and pies, for example. That's an and drinks. That's a combo meal is let's say it's three dollars, right? So let's say for example, one day you get uh you spend a hundred dollars and then you got now I'm simplifying this a lot, right? Let's say you're getting you 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 spend a hundred dollars on advertising, a uh, hundred people show up and and that's gonna put you then at one ninety nine, right? Every people spending one ninety nine, um, and a hundred people show up. Then obviously that's gonna be hundred ninety nine dollars for those hundred people that show up, and so additionally, let's say you made ninety dollars with the uh, with the meal, right? So those people that show up, they also uh, upgraded to the meal, uh, totally ninety dollars. So you, for you spending hundred dollars on advertising that day to get a hundred people, 
it actually made you back two hundred and ninety dollars, right? Because you had the upsells as well to um, help you uh, get some more money in return. I mean, you gotta think of the McDonald's model. They they know that that cheeseburger, the the one dollar cheeseburger, pays for the ad, uh, but it, also, on the back end, they have all these upsells, right? Fries, pies, and all the burgers. Now, the conversion rate, the cost per acquisition, the returns on investment rate are the most important things to keep an eye on. Make sure that your ad cost isn't outweighing the, the, the ROI, okay? The more your, you lower the cost of Facebook ads, the larger your return on investment will be financially, financial, or otherwise it will be, right? So uh, that's all I wanted to cover in reference to these uh, four factors that we cover four, yeah, that can drive up the cost of your Facebook ads and perhaps kills you if you don't recognize what you're doing uh, so that you can put a stop on time and fix them. Uh, so I hope this information was valuable. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment. Uh, you can call me or text me at 707-410-0307. Uh, you can visit my website, uh, info at digital, uh, sorry, digitaltrack.co. And again, if you, ha if, uh, if you have any value, if you have any suggestions for me, I appreciate your feedback. Have a good one. Bye.